El 3 de febrero de 1996, Marco Antonio Barrera realizó una de las peleas más importantes y memorables de su carrera. Su rival para la ocasión fue el boxeador estadounidense Kennedy McKinney. Este humilló a Barrera, lo insultó y lo llevó a un estado de ira como no lo hizo ningún otro boxeador. El estadounidense aseguraba que un boxeador como Marco Antonio Barrera no lo podía vencer y menos en su país. Pero en el boxeo no todo lo que se dice y se piensa se hace realidad. A veces las cosas se salen de control y sucede lo contrario. Para la ocasión, Marco Antonio Barrera arriesgaba su título de campeón mundial OMB. Kennedy McKinney nació en Mississippi, Estados Unidos. Ya tenía 30 años cumplidos cuando retó a Marco Antonio Barrera, quien contaba con 22 años de edad. La pelea entre estos dos púgiles empezó desde antes de subir al cuadrilátero debido a las provocaciones de Kennedy. En plena conferencia de prensa, McKinney se dirigió a Barrera en un tono desafiante. El ambiente se puso tenso y sucedió lo siguiente. Marco Antonio Barrera se paró de su asiento, enfrentó al bocón. Miró hacia atrás, hacia su gente, hacia los suyos, para distraer la atención. Y a manera de látigo le metió el puño en la boca a Kennedy McKinney. Vamos a la presentación de los púgiles y luego al desarrollo del combate. Michael Buffer now will have the introductions of the fighters. Forum Boxing in association with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser, present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Robert Bird, Wiesel Fernandez, and Lou Filippo. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Pat Russell. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing maroon trimmed with gold and weighing in at 122 pounds. In 1988, he captured Olympic gold. And now as a professional, he has a record of 28 victories, 17 by knockout with only one defeat and one draw and two world titles to his credit. Tonight, he is looking for another one. Ladies and gentlemen, the current WBO title holder, and two-time featherweight champion of the world, the challenger, Kennedy. Kennedy! Wearing white, trimmed with red, and weighing in at 121 pounds, he brings a perfect record of 39 victories without a loss, 27 by knockout, and he is considered by most to be one of the best in the world today. Damas y caballeros, con Ciudad de México de F. Marco Antonio Parrera. Twelve rounds, championship of the world. Touch your gloves, touch your gloves, go back. Todo listo para que suene la campana y arranque la pelea. Here we go, round one. Marco Antonio Barrera, the champion in the white trunks. Kennedy McKinney, who figures to be the better boxer in the gold and red trunks. You saw McKinney wearing a Los Angeles Lakers, the professional basketball team jersey here in Los Angeles. He had the jersey on of Magic Johnson, known to you all around the world as one of the great basketball players and who returned uh, to pro basketball just this week with the Los Angeles Lakers. But now to this fight because this should be a corker in the first hard punch landed by Antonio Barrera. A strong right hand. And McKinney's in a little bit of difficulty here in round one. McKinney has never been stopped. Se nota que estos dos se traen ganas, pero tienen 12 asaltos por delante para resolver el dilema. Relaxed and not going wild. McKinney, remember, has been through a lot in his career. He was, in fact, the night that he won the title from Welcome Nasida in desperate trouble in the 10th and 11th rounds of that bout. In fact, was down in the 11th round and knocked Nasida out in that same round. Well behind on points, and you just saw that right hand, a corker by Kennedy McKinney. His first big punch. Now there's that left hook to the body by Barrera. He's an effective body puncher. 
and putting his punches together. Barrera moving forward. His last fight, no, November 7th, he stopped a talented contender, Eddie Croft, in seven rounds in what was a magnificent Las Vegas, Nevada. Last fight for Kennedy McKinney, August 26th. It took him eight rounds to defeat the Irish sensation, John Lowy, in Chicago. But that was the only fight for McKinney in 1995. Barrera has been far more active. Fans are into this one. McKinney has a powerful right hand. Look out for it. It's a straight right. Barrera had a scintillating opening minute of this bout. Right hand catches McKinney off balance. McKinney answers back. Now Barrera comes back. Barrera trying to bang the body of McKinney. McKinney promised not to box and move, but to stand in there and slug with Barrera. Some think that would be a mistake. Bell brings to the... Termina este primer capítulo, que a mi juicio ganó Marco Antonio Barrera. Western Forum. All right, as we take a look at round one action, there's that right hand by Barrera. Boy, did McKinney feel that one. He staggered back from the power of that Barrera right. That came in the opening minute of the fight, and still another right hand by Barrera. Bar McKinney had some rough moments there in the first round and takes a big, deep breath as he gets ready for round number two. Kennedy McKinney won the IBF title in 1992 with a knockout in 11 rounds of Welcome Nasita, the fight I mentioned earlier when well behind on points, he knocked out Nasita in the 11th round in Tortoli, Italy. He made five successful defenses of the title and then lost the crown in August of 1994 to Villani Bungo. McKinney is another fighter who's had some personal problems outside the ring, a battle with drugs, but he's been clean and sober and Back in the ring and fighting well. Now trying to get his jab to work here in round number two. If McKinney can get that jab to work to good effect, he can follow it with a straight right hand, which is a bread and butter punch for him. But Barrera moving forward and pounding away. Barrera with a sensational start in this fight. McKinney wants to get his jab into a rhythm now to keep Barrera off of him. Watching closely, I'm sure, in England tonight. Prince Nassim Ahmed, the 126-pound WBO champion. Good right uppercut by McKinney. Ahmed and Barrera, it would seem, are in a collision course, a showdown someday in the next year or so. And what would have to be an unbelievably big fight, especially if it takes place in England. But right now, McKinney fighting better here in round number two. Barrera trying to work that left hook to the body. It was a surprise to see Barrera able to land that right hand of his to the head so quickly in this bout. But in the first minute, he had landed two strong straight rights that had McKinney in some difficulty. McKinney told me earlier this week he thought Barrera had a left hook only, and that was it. He said, I'll give, it, I'll give him that. He's got a good left hook, but that's it. Well, he tasted the right hand here, and I'm sure he's changed his mind about that. Referee is Pat Russell. Good strong right hand by Kennedy McKinney. That's that straight quick right hand we told you about. It's a powerful weapon for him. Pat Russell warns the guys to watch the clash of heads. 
Termina este segundo asalto y parece que la pelea se va a extender a la distancia. De ser así, me parece que Barrera, al ser ocho años más joven, podría sacar ventaja de esto. Round 3, scheduled for 12, WBO Junior Featherweight Championship, 122 pound weight limit. I'm Rich Morata, ringside at the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles, California. Marco Antonio Barrera, the champion in the white trunks. Hard to believe that Barrera, just a year ago, was not even a world champion. And in less than a year, he is making his fifth defense of the championship. That's why he is ranked right now on most of those pound-for-pound pound, uh, lists as number five or six. Most people consider, at least so far in his career, only uh, Roy Jones and Pernell Whitaker, De La Hoya, and perhaps Felix Trinidad is above uh, Marco Antonio Barrera on those top ten pound-for-pound pound lists. McKinney begs to differ and hopes to show the world that those lists are wrong tonight. There's a crunching right hand, though, by Barrera. McKinney has the ability to mix it up in the ring. He'd be a good boxer. He can move. He can stand and slug if need be. Pretty much an all-around fighter. His amateur career was outstanding. 260 victories, only 10 defeats. As we mentioned earlier, an Olympic gold medalist. An exchange of left jabs. Barrera sometimes throws the jab almost out as an afterthought. But his big punches are his power punches, that left hook to the body especially. McKinney really uses his jab as a weapon. That left hand on the borderline, but McKinney does not complain to referee Pat Russell. Barrera slowed down a little in this round after that blistering pace that was set in the first two rounds. Half a minute to go in round three. Good counter right hand by McKinney, but now Barrera answers right back. Barrera seemed almost insulted by the fact that McKinney hit him, and he answered back with a salvo with his own shots. Barrera showing a little bit of lateral movement there. And trying to counter McKinney some in this round. Termina este tercer round y ninguno de los dos boxadores tiene un claro dominio del combate. La esquina de Barrera se mantiene constantemente orientando al boxador mexicano, quien a esa joven edad tenía tendencia a desobedecer las instrucciones. Kennedy McKinney debutó en el boxeo profesional el 24 de febrero de 1989. Una carrera exitosa en la que estuvo invicto con 28 victorias al hilo. That slight bruise under the left eye very early in the fight. With one of those right hands that he absorbed from Barrera in that first round. Barrera is always in magnificent shape. His work ethic is magnificent, his conditioning always superior. As you can see, he's not drawn a deep breath yet, he's not even opened his mouth yet in terms of breathing. Now McKinney getting that jab to work, and it's a good one. Marco Antonio Barrera with the toughest test of his career right here against a former world champion who has lost only once in 30 fights. Barrera unbeaten in 39.
Barrera it appears being bothered a little by that McKinney jab. And now Barrera launches a right hand that backs McKinney up. Barrera hoping to slow down McKinney with those body shots. Keep him in punching range where he can unload those power blows. Working on the body. This could pay off big for him in later rounds. There's no doubting the bravery of Kennedy McKinney in the ring. He's a courageous fighter in addition to being a very able boxer. He proved that in his title winning effort with Welcome to Cedar. And McKinney getting to work. Ber Barrera trying to fight off the ropes. This is an unusual position for Barrera. It is usually he who has his opponent pinioned up against the ropes. Barrera looks in terrific shape, however. I don't even think he's taking a rest here, but he's trying to fight off the ropes, and McKinney is coming on. No question about it. McKinney enjoying a good fourth round. Chavez trying to counter at times. But McKinney having success in round four. There's that right hand by McKinney. Good uppercut inside by Barrera. A different strategy for Marco Antonio Barrera than we've seen before. Laying back in this round and now trying to come on. Red hot action here in round four and here comes Barrera. Barrera with a big rally at the end of the round. Crowd roaring at the forum as Barrera winds up. Termina el episodio número 4. Hubo más acción que en los tres anteriores. The rounds are flying by. Marco Antonio Barrera, the champion in the white trunks. Kennedy McKinney, the challenger and former IBF champion and the golden red trunks. And these two are setting a blistering pace. It is just what we hoped for and expected. Barrera is always just tremendously intense. And McKinney, although he mouthed off during the week and tried to get inside Barrera's head as we see that right hand of McKinney snap Barrera's head back again has been a professional completely in that ring tonight there have been no shenanigans no talking none of the ridiculous posturing that we see sometimes in fights these two guys are professionals and it's been all business in there tonight Good combination by McKinney. Backs Barrera up again. Barrera into that same spot along the rope where he's been much of last round. Now he slides off. Is that counter right by McKinney? A thing of beauty. Barrera just missed that right hand. McKinney again enjoying success here in round number five, but now Barrera, just like he did the last round, answering back in the final minute. McKinney uses his shoulder to push Barrera off of him, to shove him back, and draws a warning from Pat Russell. Good left hook to the body by Barrera. McKinney complaining of a low blow. 
Pat Russell's ignored the complaint. Final seconds now of round five. End of the round, the two swap blows for a moment or two. Termina el episodio. Este combate no tiene nada que envidiarle a ninguna otra pelea histórica. Va de menos a más y tiene un final de película. Sobre todo los últimos cuatro asaltos, que son al estilo Rocky Balboa. Diferente al caso de Barrera, el rostro de Kennedy McKinney empieza a reflejar el castigo. Action there. There's that low blow that McKinney was complaining about. But boy, Kennedy, that is dangerous move to take your head away, pull it back, and look away from Barrera and at the referee. Protect yourself at all times in the ring is the old axiom of the ring. We are in round six. Barrera starting a little faster here now in round six than he did in rounds four and five. McKinney showing some bruising underneath each eye. McKinney would be a, appear to be behind on points in this fight to Barrera right now, but must keep in mind that he was, for all intents and purposes, beaten in his title-winning effort against Welcome Nacida when he scored a knockout in the 11th round. Hot exchange between the two there. Ooh, a good right uppercut by McKinney in close. Barrera just comes right back. Barrera had a fight similar to this in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace against former Bantamweight champion Eddie Cook with the two swap blows. And Barrera finally just outwilled him. Now this is a tremendous battle of wills between these two tonight. And McKinney has landed a shot that has sent Barrera sliding back along the ropes. And in a little bit of difficulty it appears. McKinney has Barrera backing up. An unusual strategy if that is one actually being employed by Barrera because normally we see him pressing forward always. But now Barrera answering back. Oh, that was a good left hook in close, but here's McKinney right back. A tremendous battle between these two here in round number six. Chopping right hand by Barrera. Two exchanging blows. Barrera landing the more effective in this exchange. Good left uppercut inside by Barrera. McKinney fighting back. Look at these two go at it. Right hand Barrera and a right hand by McKinney right back. Unbelievable action. It's turning into a Pier 6 brawl. No science here. Here comes Barrera now. McKinney staggers back. McKinney in trouble. Giving way some. The two just exchanging blows. Brutal to watch. Unbelievable action. Hard right by McKinney, and a right by Barrera. End of the round. Barrera cierra este capítulo número 6 a toda máquina, lanzando golpes a diestra y siniestra. Put that one in the highlight reel, Phil, folks. We've just seen the round of the year. Vamos al episodio year. número 7. La pelea ya es adulta. Here we go into round 7. I don't think it gets any better than what we saw in round six. The action was so brutal it was almost hard to watch. Fans now rallying to Barrera, chanting Mexico, Mexico. McKinney was giving way at the end of the round, but still dangerous. Barrera with that big left hook in that exchange. 
scintillating action. Hope you're enjoying this HBO World Boxing production tonight. Glad you're with us around the world. McKinney's still dangerous, you better believe it. Tremendo derechazo de McKinney. Nearly turned Barrera around. Barrera often when he gets hurt or stung will come firing back. Approaching the halfway mark of round number seven. Barrera now, remember, has been warned on a couple of occasions for low punches. There's been nothing really blatant. But McKinney complained once, and he has been warned. Oh, good combination by McKinney. Came right back and straightened Barrera up. That silences the Barrera fan. Good body work by Barrera. McKinney answers back with that tremendous right of his. And again, McKinney with the right hand. Barrera says, come on, bring it to me. And McKinney is doing just that. McKinney very dangerous with that right hand. Kennedy McKinney dominating the action here now, having a strong round seven. Again, a slight warning from Pat Russell to Barrera to keep the punches up. Half minute to go in round seven. Good jab by McKinney. We haven't seen much of that in the last few rounds as he's been willing to exchange and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Barrera. In a fabulous right hand that McKinney has shown here tonight. And a great left hook to the body that Barrera has displayed. Final seconds of round seven in what is absolutely a war of attrition between these two. Termina el séptimo episodio. Para mí esta es la mejor pelea de Marco Antonio Barrera, por lo que va a pasar de aquí en adelante. Tal vez todos no estén de acuerdo conmigo, pero la mayoría me dará la razón. El equipo de trabajo de McKinney ha estado bien ocupado con el rostro del boxeador estadounidense. También se ha tenido que trabajar fuerte con Marco Antonio Barrera. Arrancamos con el asalto número 8. Presten atención porque aquí pasan muchas cosas. And referee Pat Russell went over to the corner of Barrera between rounds and said, I'm going to give you a real hard warning about the low blows. Keep them up. We are in round eight, scheduled for 12. Been a terrific fight so far. There have been no knockdowns. McKinney was staggered slightly in round one in the opening minute. The two have exchanged. Brutal salvos at times in this fight, but each man has chosen to just stand his ground and hang in there. A courageous performance by both of these fine, fine fighters. I assume in England tonight, Nassim Ahmed is taking close notes of what he's watching with uh, Barrera and McKinney. Possible opponent for him. And in the future. Now again, McKinney complaining about the low blows. McKinney goes right back to that jab. It's a nice jab Kennedy has. And he wants to use it to keep Barrera off balance, but more than that, to open up the avenue for his straight right hand, which is so quick, and he usually follows that left-hand jab. hopeful of replacing Julio Cesar Chavez in the future as the legend and the idol of Mexico. As you can see, he bears a facial resemblance to Julio and in some ways fights much like him.
Good right hand by McKinney as Barrera got the oh. Tremenda la combinación de Barrera. Kimi cayó en malas condiciones. Remember McKinney has never been stopped in his career. Taking a mandatory eight count. El asesino con cara de niño va por su presa. That was a hard knockdown. As Barrera comes forward to try to finish McKinney off. And McKinney is down again. Oh, santo. Esto está para tirar la toalla. Lo va a matar. McKinney vuelve a la lona. Y cuidado que está en juego la regla de las tres caídas. Pat Russell with the mandatory eight count. Ven como viene Barrera, parece un toro de rodeo. Here comes Barrera. Remember now the three knockdown rule is in effect under WBO rules. One more knockdown and the fight is over. Barrera with a big combination. Barrera moving forward. McKinney not punching back. Barrera on the verge of a knockout victory. Inside the final 10 seconds of the round. McKinney now trying to fight back. Barrera a huge round. McKinney sobrevive a los embates de Barrera milagrosamente y termina este octavo asalto. Tremenda la combinación de Barrera con golpes certeros. Later on in the round, he just gave way. Too many blows by Marco Antonio Barrera. Too many shots. Right hand down he went. Akini iba pedaleando la bicicleta de Mayweather, pero hacia atrás. Akbar Muhammad has even climbed up into the ring now. He's trying to wake up Kennedy if he can, and trying to get him back into the fight. Vamos al asalto número nueve. No creo que Kennedy Makini se haya recuperado del todo. Terrible difficulty in round eight. Marco Antonio Barrera on top now and trying to press his advantage. Left hook by Barrera to start things off. Barrera putting on a magnificent performance. McKinney in trouble again, trying to use all of his experience and all of his wisdom in the ring and all of his technique to hold off this force that is known as Marco Antonio Barrera. McKinney right now trying to get some kind of a rhythm, trying to get up on his toes, just trying to get himself in the fight. And Barrera chasing after. There's the couple of left jabs by Barrera. Looking for the opening for a big punch. McKinney wants to move and try to get his jab going again, but Barrera's not giving him any room. Barrera has him pinioned up against the ropes. McKinney trying to fight off of him. McKinney with all the courage that we expected that he has shown before in his career and again that straight right hand still a potent weapon by Kennedy McKinney McKinney would probably just like to get through this round if he can not take too much damage and get another minute's rest and then try to come back and fight hard in round 10 but we're only halfway through the ninth right now a Kennedy McKinney ni siquiera la bicicleta de Mayweather le basta para escapar del castigo de Barrera McKinney literally running away from Barrera. McKinney in a survival mode right now. Now McKinney's eye is closing. His left Otra eye vez is McKinney up. vuelve a visitar la lona. Again. Four, five, six. Pat Russell keeping Barrera in a neutral corner. This is what Barrera wanted after that incident at the press conference this week when he was insulted by McKinney. Barrera on the verge of retaining his championship in this scintillating fight. Third knockdown of this fight. Twenty seconds to another minute's rest for McKinney who is in terrible difficulty and probably falling out of it now on the judges cards. McKinney looks very weary. He looks very tired and discouraged too as he throws the jab out. That's from fatigue. He's not normally wild with that right hand. Termina el asalto y McKinney está muy golpeado y cansado. McKinney está sangrando por boca y nariz.
the referee, Pat Russell, has called time and asked for the doctor to come into the corner with Kennedy McKinney. So this will be a long between rounds. This will not be the normal in California. The referee, Pat Russell, winding his arm. They thought he was signaling the fight was over. That was not the case. He was signaling to the timekeeper. To Vamos al décimo capítulo. Aquí cualquier cosa puede pasar. McKinney asked the doctor not to stop it. Said, I'm all right. Tenth round, yeah, three to go. McKinney was down twice in round eight, once more in round nine. He landed many potent shots through the first seven rounds. It was, we told you, it was simply a battle of attrition. Who would wear down? A battle of wills. And it has been McKinney who finally has given way. Round six was as fine a round as I think you'll ever see in boxing. Herrera trying to set up the big knockout punch with his jab, looking for it with the right hand. Even in this much trouble, you can see the experience of Kennedy McKinney. Look at that right hand by McKinney as he comes back. Tremendo derechazo de McKinney. Kennedy McKinney turning it around. Both fighters absolutely weary from the pitch battle and it is Barrera who is in trouble. Here in round 10 as McKinney comes forward. McKinney now with body blows and Barrera in danger of going down. Barrera has never been down in his career. Unbelievable drama here at the Great Western Forum. In round number 10 is McKinney, who was on the verge of being knocked out in the 8th and 9th rounds, has Barrera in trouble, and now Barrera answers back. McKinney is so far behind on points, you would think that he would need a knockout, or at least to score some knockdowns here to get himself back into the fight in terms of the judges' scorecards. Barrera seems to be coming back to himself once again. Now he fights off the ropes. In the right de Barrera. McKinney Barrera scoop el protector bucal. Barrera again hit with a right and he's in trouble. McKinney answering back in a dramatic turnaround. Here in round number 10, Kennedy McKinney and Marco Antonio Barrera exchanging punches. Barrera fires back. El referee para la pelea Absolutely para que le coloquen el protector right. bucal a McKinney oh, nuevamente. Pick that moment to put the mouthpiece back in the mouth of Kennedy McKinney. That did not seem the most opportune time to do it. Certainly not for Kennedy McKinney, who's having a huge round. The referee is supposed to pick a good moment where the action is sparse. Now the bell sounds to end the round. And Barrera had a very difficult... Termina el asalto número 10, en el cual hubo mucha acción. Vamos al capítulo número 11 de inmediato. Aquí no se puede parpadear. Barrera en su corner. They were slapping him in the corner. Barrera appeared a little discouraged there. And he had a very, very rough 10th round. This fight is somewhat reminiscent of the flyweight championship fight we saw here at the forum last summer in which an unheralded Thailand fighter by the name of Simon Sarchatarong fought Chiquita Gonzalez, the great light flyweight champion. Gonzalez had him down in the fifth and sixth round. And then in the seventh, out of nowhere, Sarchatarong knocked Chiquita out of the ring and knocked him out to win the fight. We mentioned the forum has gathered a reputation as the house of upsets in recent years. And Marco Antonio Barrera does not want to be the latest victim of that here tonight. Barrera seems a little unsure of himself as we start round 11. McKinney showing... Akini está totalmente recuperado y salió mucho más animado en este asalto. Atención, cheque en el pie derecho de Barrera, está respalando. Aquí 
Earlier tonight, Johnny Tapia retaining his 115 pounds. Oh, that was a knockdown. It was a hit and a hit. The knockdown as Glove hit the canvas. A right hand by McKinney and Barrera is down for the first time in his career. His glove hit the canvas. That's all you need for a knockdown. A lightning right hand. Hay algo extraño en la lona que está provocando esos rebalones. Ese fue el primer knockdown en la carrera de Marco Antonio Barrera. And Barrera having trouble with his footing, but McKinney has scored the first of the knockdowns that he needs, perhaps. Now Barrera trying to answer back. This fight has had many of the elements of the really great fights that we've seen in recent years. Unbelievable drama unfolding in this great Western Forum ring here this evening. There have been four knockdowns in the fight. Barrera was knocked down in this, the 11th round. McKinney down twice in the 8th and once in the 9th. Barrera was on the verge of going down in the 10th. It is McKinney who is coming on now in the late rounds, though. Barrera hurt badly in the 10th, dropped here in the 11th. And McKinney could possibly now get a two-point margin from the judges, although he's staggered with a right hand by Barrera. Termina el episodio número 11. Kennedy McKinney alza los brazos en señal de victoria. Parece que ignora que los gladiadores aztecas le agregaban a sus pulmones de turbina, adrenalina y dinamita para finalizar cada pelea. Una diferencia enorme entre los rostros de ambos púgiles. El mexicano para nada luce con rostro mayugado. Kennedy McKinney refleja mucho castigo en su rostro. Incluso tiene coágulos pequeños de sangre. Vean que me dice que sí, que es verdad lo que digo. Mm -hmm. Cuéntame una de vaquero. Eso será en otro canal y en otro video. Aquí estamos en boxeo. Hay que reconocer que en la caída de Marco Antonio Barrera incidieron dos factores. Un golpe no tan contundente y un resbalón. Fue válido porque el guante hizo contacto con la lona, pero ni siquiera se sintió mareado. La prueba está en que a partir de ahí cerró bien el episodio y no pasó más nada. Entramos al capítulo número 12, último asalto de la pelea. Es normalmente el caso en un knockdown round. Es el 12 y final round. Marco Antonio Barrera y Kennedy McKinney. Y McKinney está down. Claro que fue knockdown. No discuta, McKinney. Te dio McKinney en la zona hepática. Casi igual que la caída de Barrera. El and golpe encontró a McKinney mal parado. No fue un golpe contundente, pero aterrizó como McKinney un aeroplano. Tiene que venir con algo muy fuerte aquí late en la fight. Fifth knockdown of the fight. Two have been controversial. That one and the knockdown of Barrera. McKinney still very dangerous. He has shown in the last two rounds that he can indeed hurt Barrera. We all knew this would be Barrera's stiffest test, and it certainly has been that. Fans chanting Barrera. And Marco Antonio responds Aunque to no le pertenece la localía, el público está upando a Barrera. Muy bien por el referee. No Fue resbalón. ¿Qué será lo que tiene la lona? ¿Por qué resbalan Barrera? tanto? Se equivocó el referee. Ahora sí fue knockdown. Un golpe fuerte con efecto retardado confundió al encargado de impartir justicia.
High drama at the forum. It's McKinney in trouble now in round 12. Oh, la madre le pegó. Me asustó el árbitro. Pensé que iba a decir que no, que no hubo knockdown. Le dio que le sacudió el cerebro con todo y esos pecales. Tragó la lengua, se bebió su propia saliva, se ensució en la ropa y cayó. Un saco. Definitivamente, estos boxeadores mexicanos se engrandecían ante los desafíos. Barrera no es Canela, Chávez no es Pecosa, Juan Manuel Márquez no montaba bicicleta, Eric Morales no acomodaba pelea. Estos boxeadores mexicanos sencillamente eran espectaculares, bravos e increíbles. Me quedé sin aire, tuve que buscar relevo. Uf, así se cierra una pelea, hablando con los puños y callando a bocones fanfarrones. McKinney with that big right, but Barrera answering back himself and sending McKinney to the canvas. It was the fourth knockdown. Look at that left hook to the body by Barrera. McKinney just voluntarily went to a knee. He about had enough right there. 